Good morning, students. Now today we will start our the new topic that is aromaticity. This is very important chapter regarding for the university examinations as well as the competitive exams like NET, SET, and GATE examinations. Generally, two to three questions are repeatedly asked in this uh, topic that is aromaticity. So, simply by manner, uh, you have to learn about aromaticity with me. Uh, so, concentrate one by one points we have to cover here. Uh, if you consider the aromatic, anti aromatic, and non aromatic compounds, first, the necessary conditions for the aromatic compound is the structure should be cyclic. Second one, it obey the Huckel's rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electrons in the system. All centers should be sp2 hybridized. The structure should be planar. And the most important, it is regular in conjugations. Right? And if you consider the 4n plus 2 pi electron, that is Huckel's rule. Here, n is nothing but the number of three. If you consider here is 0, then 2 pi electron. If you consider n equal to 1, that is 6, 10, and so on. So, the aromatic compound which obey the Huckel's rule and all the necessary conditions, the compound should obey all these conditions. This compound is only the aromatic character of aromatic ones. Second, if you consider the anti-aromatic compounds, it is again the cyclic one. Second, it is 4n pi electron system. All centers should be as like in aromatic, it is sp2 hybridized and planar structure. And lastly, it is a regular in conjugations. And last one, if the compound does not show any aromatic anti-aromatic character means the compound is a non-aromatic in nature. Right? So, afterwards, the, if we go through the stability order, the aromatic is more stable than non-aromatic and then anti-aromatic compounds. Right? And these are the number of compounds that is sort one by one which is aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic in fact. Right? So, these three compounds, benzene, naphthalene and anthracene, in which the first compound is a benzene, it depends on the resonance energy per ring. The resonance energy per ring of the benzene is 36 and naphthalene is nearly about the 58 and anthracene is nearly about the 84. So, if you consider this benzene ring, the double bond is regular in conjugation it is a cyclic structure which obey the Huckel's rule and by birth it is the first compound of aromatic and then afterwards the naphthalene anthracene and the polycyclic compound is in aromatic in nature so if you consider the benzene it is aromatic character but if you move towards the naphthalene the aromatic this is the aromatic compounds like the benzene and if first ring is aromatic and if he goes to the second one the aromaticity goes on decreases as like and so on means the stability of benzene is more than naphthalene is more than the anthracene and phenethylene and so on right so one by one we have to study this number of example which is aromatic anti-aromatic and non-aromatic in characters so non-aromatic compounds in Hindi we have to say that means if the compound not shows the aromatic or anti-aromatic character the compound should be non-aromatic in nature so consider first example first example that is three membered four membered five membered and six membered compound cyclic compounds we have to study which show the aromatic anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compounds. So first example, if you consider this three-membered compound containing this double bond and you know that this double bond, one double bond equal to two pi electron, one double bond equal to two pi electrons means this structure is a cyclic, 
and this carbon should be sp2 hybridized this carbon again shows sp2 hybridized but this upper side carbon it is an sp3 hybridized means it is not a aromatic compounds or not a anti aromatic compounds means remaining it is a non aromatic compounds second one example if you consider here is a charge that is a positive charge again the three membered rings this carbon is sp2 hybridized this carbon is sp2 hybridized this carbon also sp2 hybridized it means one pi bond containing two pi electrons means this system obey the hookel's rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electron means this compound is a aromatic in nature see if you consider this three third number of examples here is a negative charge means this carbon again sp2 hybridized this carbon is sp2 hybridized and this one negative charge consider as a two pi electron if a negative charge and a lone pair of electron consider as a two pi electrons means this ring is in cyclic structure containing two and two four pi electron which is a regular in conjugation means this charge is moves towards this ring and this bond is shifted towards these sides and it is a regular in conjugation system means 4 pi electron that is a total 4 pi electron means it is a anti aromatic in nature right so move on next that is 4 member ring here is also 2 pi electron, 2 pi electrons means total 4 pi electrons. The structure is a cyclic one, planar, regular in conjugation, and 4 pi electrons means it is a anti aromatic compound. Right? Next, on if you consider this negative charge, here is also negative charge means the structure is cyclic one is 2 pi electron 2 pi electron 2 pi electron means 6 pi total 6 pi electron and which obey the hookel's rule that is 4 n plus 2 pi electron that is 6 pi electron regular in conjugations and all carbon should be sp2 hybridized means it is a aromatic compound right so next example here is only the positive positive charge cyclic structure all carbon should be sp2 hybridized and total number of pi electron that is 2 pi electrons 2 pi electrons means it is also the aromatic compounds right and if you move towards the pi member cyclic structure containing positive negative and free radical in nature or in manner means this five membered cyclic ring structure containing this five membered cyclic structure containing this carbon is sp2 hybridized this carbon is sp2 hybridized but this carbon is sp3 hybridized means it is a non aromatic because of the hybridizations of sp3 next example if you consider this is sp2 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 and above side it is also the sp2 hybridized carbon means total number of pi electron that is 4 pi electron structure is a cyclic one planar regular in conjugation and it obey the 4 pi electron system means it is a anti aromatic compounds next example that is again the structure should be cyclic which obey the Hockel's rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electron system means it is a total 6 pi electron and compound is a aromatic all right next example is again important because of the, here is found to be the free radical and one free radical it is a 1 pi electron means the structure should be cyclic 2 pi electron, 2 pi electron and 1 pi electron means it is a 5 pi electron and it is a not aromatic, not anti-aromatic, it is a non-aromatic compounds. So lastly this is the example of 6 membered cyclic structure 
benzene unular it is aromatic which will be the hookens group by birth it is a started first compound of aromaticity that is aromatic character in them next towards this example in which here is also the cyclic structure containing regular conjugation in this system that is 2 pi electron 2 pi electron 2 pi electron means total 6 pi electron and this one this is one bond means 2 pi electron which is not participate in the conjugations means only the 6 pi electron is participating in the conjugation so it is a aromatic compounds next here is presence of the positive charge but this positive charge not participate in the conjugation means only the 3 pi bond means 6 pi electron is participating in the conjugation system the structure should be cyclic it is 6 pi electron means over the Huckel's rule and a regular in conjugation means this is also in aromatic in nature last example if you consider this negative charge it is not participate in the conjugation system it is a total 6 pi electron and 6 pi electron means it is over the Huckel's rule that is a 4n plus 2 pi electron it is a aromatic compounds so after all this example in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss about the more example of aromaticity to clarify the more 